Hi kids, welcome to Kids Church for April 26th. We thought we'd let the dogs do the greeting this time since they're just really wanna keep interrupting things. This is Finn, hi Finn, this is Sophie. Tell the kids hi, say hi, say hi. Say we got some fun stuff today. You guys ready to get started? Where'd you go Finn? <laughs> It's time for our Bible study for today. And uh, as we talked about last week, we're going to be learning about different kids in the Bible and how God was able to use them. But before we do that, oh, and I want to let you know that we're going to be doing a drawing today. So that's why I've got my uh, dry erase board here. And you can go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or whatever, crayon, whatever you want to use. And you can draw along with me if you want to. Uh, you can just pause it and go get what you need. Okay, you're back. Before we start talking about uh, the, the kid in the Bible that we're going to be talking about today, I wanted to show you something. See this? This is it's kind of like a jewelry box. And let's look inside. What's in there? There's a, a couple of, of bracelets that I haven't had to, war, to wear. I haven't been able to wear recently because I haven't gone anywhere where I'd want to put jewelry on. But it's kind of like a treasure box. It's like a little box where you can just, you know, keep the, your, the nice things that you have that you like just, you know, so that you know where they are. And it's kind of like a treasure box, right? Well, you might be wondering, what does that have to do with today's lesson? Well, today, our Bible story is about a young man who sought God and his word as if they were buried treasure. In fact, in our story today, God's word had been hidden for a very, very long time. So if you want to get started, you can use whatever color you want, but you can first kind of draw a great big square, you know, even right up to the edge of your paper if you want to. Like I said, make it whatever color you want it to be. It doesn't matter. I chose pink today. But we're going to be learning about a young boy named Josiah who became king when he was only eight years old. He became king over God's people. So we're going to start right up here in this corner, and you can draw. You can't see very well, but first draw a little face, then draw a big crown. This is Josiah, a little eight-year-old guy who became king. And then you can kind of draw a little mouth for him. And here's his nose because the crown is so big, it's kind of cover in his eyes. But that's the first thing you draw. You draw that right in the corner there. Josiah, as I said, he was eight years old when he became king over God's people. Now there had been many bad kings before Josiah. So over here in this corner, draw a circle and then draw what you think a bad king would look like. We'll give him a mouth like that and we'll give him like a beard or something. Not that beards are bad, but and give him a mustache. Just make him look as mean as you want to, and then we'll put a crown on his head because he's not—he's not a good king. There were a lot of these not so great kings who came along before Josiah was king. Now these kings did not love and serve God the way that they should. But you know what the book, the Bible says about Josiah? <laughs> okay, Finn is scratching himself and moving my camera. Thank you, Finn. That doesn't help. There we go. All right, gonna hold still now, Finn. Ah. There we are. Anyway, this is what the Bible says about Josiah. Josiah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. He lived the way King David had lived. He didn't turn away from it to the right or to the left. So apparently Josiah had a very good heart. So you can draw a heart right down there in the corner. And, you know, since it was young, it wouldn't have been easy for so for Josiah to be king, right? I mean, he might have been tempted to get full of himself and think, hey, I'm the king. I'm the boss. I know I'm just a kid, but I'm in charge of you. Ha, ha, ha. But that's not the kind of person that Josiah was. Now, at this time, people hadn't worshipped God in the temple for a very, very long time. In fact, the temple was all broken down. So over here in this corner can draw start to draw a little square but you can kind of I don't know you can kind of make it you know it's not it, it, it's a little bit of a mess 
there's part of it, but it's kind of fallen apart. It, 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 was, it was just a bit of a mess there. But, you know, I mean, Josiah had a good heart and he wanted to fix the temple. So he hired some men, he brought them in, and they started to fix the temple and fix it up so that it would be, you know, really much better looking. It didn't really look like this. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. But there you go. We'll put a little door right here. See that? That's a much better. It's all fixed and all nice. But you know what? While they were fixing the temple, they found something. They found a scroll that had God's word written on it. So I'm going to draw a scroll right here. Just draw kind of two lines like this. And then do a circle right here. And a little thing in the middle of it. And that's a scroll that they found. We could even like do a little thing where it's tied up. There we go. And that scroll had God's word written on it. So here's what Josiah did. Josiah read God's word to all of the people. And they were very sad. Here we'll make a sad face in the middle of the heart. Mm -hmm. They were very, very sad. Why do you think that they were sad? Well, they realized that they hadn't been worshiping and following God the way that they should. They'd been following other gods and doing many things that they shouldn't be doing. And so they were very sad about that. So, you know, of course, Josiah decided he was just going to gather everybody together and he was going to read God's word to them so that they would learn and draw a big heart right in the middle. They would change their ways and they would learn how to follow God the way that they should be. I'm going to put a Bible, just draw a little square, and then I'm just going to put a big B on it because my marker won't let me do little tiny details, but you know, you do it however you want to. You know, they now that, that God's word was at the center of their life again, and their temple was all built so that they could go and they could worship, that is what they did, and that is how Josiah led them. He brought the word of God back to God's people, and he fixed the temple. So this was a child, even though he was eight when he became king, and he was 18 when he started to work on the temple and fix it. He was God was able to use him, and he was able to lead God's people in the way that they should go. So I think that's pretty good. See, God can use kids. scientific experimental experimentation that is so great, so awesome, at the end we're gonna go, oh, really? So, what we have today is our treasure chest. Hi, me. Let's see what we got in it. Well, it's probably treasure, mad scientist. Probably so. I can't believe it, it's treasure. Look at this. It's a penny! I'm rich. Wow. And a washer. Now this isn't like a washer that you put your dishes or your clothes in. No, this is a, a washer that you'd use to put a bolt or something. And we have one last thing. Hmm. A ruler. Now this isn't a ruler as a ruler as I am king, but this is a ruler as in 12 inches. So, you might say, what's this got to do with our experiment? Well, there's very much things that we have to talk about. First, the washer. The washer. Like I said, not a washing machine, but a washer. This represents the power of God. Okay. This represents the ruler and how God's power transfers to us. And then this represents us. In today's lesson, we learned about Josiah who rebuilt the temple and found God's word and had it read and God empowered him, gave him the strength to do these things. And he had wisdom and things like that, which is good. So let's see, here we are. We're connected to the earth. There we are on the earth. And here's God from heaven with his great power. And watch what happened when God sends his power to us. Oh, wow. 
So you're saying that God had given Josiah a job that he wanted him to do, and then he gave him the wisdom and the power to do it. Pretty much. Do you want to do it again? You should get back so you can see it. Okay, I'll get back this time. So here we are. Okay. This is God. This is the thing that transfers the power. And this is us, the penny. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was awesome. really good. Good so, job, Mr. So Jim. On three, one, two, three. Oh. Oh. Hi, everybody. You remember the slingshot we made a couple of weeks ago out of a chair? Well, last week we used it to throw dog biscuits at the dog at, you know, uneven success. Today we've got these little snowball kind of toy things. They're soft and, you know, look like a snowball. They're cuddly. They're very cuddly. They are. And they're machine washable. And what we're going to do, Mr. Jim has three chances to hit the target. You see the X over there? He's got three chances to hit the target. Take it away, Mr. Jim. No, I've not practiced this. <laughs> that works so well. <laughs> Not so good. I think it's too heavy. Maybe I want to move it closer. There's not enough oomph. Okay. Well, by all means, get some more oomph. Let's see if we can do it now. I think you can. Or not. Oh, try it one more time. I see one right behind you there. Oh, you got one? Okay. Oh, my, well, you hit, you hit the board, actually. So, you know, kids, they say, you hit the chair. Oh, okay. They say, don't try this at home. Try this at home. Let us know what you figure out, what games you can do with this. Bye. Well, that's all for today. Bye. I know we said before that we were done, but we decided we would try again. We've got a cool target over there, and this time we have a little plastic tire, and it fits right in our, our little milk jug ringy thing. And what we are going to attempt to do, and we have one shot at this. Mr. Jim has one shot at this, so the pressure is on, because the minute he shoots it, the dog will grab it. So he's going to shoot it and try and hit the target, but frankly, we'll be happy if he hits the whiteboard. So here we go. <laughs> no, it looked to me like it hit the paper, but. Well, we're going to celebrate. Okay, we're going to take it. Yay, good job, Mr. Jim. See you guys next week. Bye.